things are going bump in the night here at the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. For episode 247 of the show, I've got ghost movie trivia. Once again, the edges are blurry on this subgenre, but I think I got it dialed in. If you disagree, I'm sure you'll let me know at dorkygeekynerdy.com, on social media, or on Spotify. Ring the bell and knock thrice, because it's trivia time. The Dorky Round Number 1. A cursed videotape is the subject of what 2002 Gore Verbinski remake of a Japanese horror film. The Ring. Number two. What 1843 Charles Dickens ghost story has been adapted more times than we can count? A Christmas Carol. Number three. Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis wrote and starred in what 1984 supernatural comedy? Ghostbusters. Number four. What 1999 film added the phrase I see dead people to our movie lexicon. The Sixth Sense. Number five. Pixar brought audiences to the land of the dead in what 2017 movie? Coco. Number six, if you build it, they will come. In what Kevin Costner movie? Field of Dreams. Number seven, despite popular belief, Harry Selleck and not Tim Burton directing what 1993 stop-motion film? The Nightmare Before Christmas. Number eight. Divine ghosts make quick but messy work of Nazis in what 1981 film? Raiders of the Lost Ark. Number 9. What cartoon ghost got a live action update in 1995 with Christina Ricci? Casper. Number 10. Costumes of past villains are reanimated. In what 2004 sequel? Scooby-Doo 2 Monsters Unleashed The Geeky Round Number 1. Michael J. Fox is a ghost hunter in what 1996 Peter Jackson film? The Frighteners. Number two, Sidney Poitier directed what 1990 fantasy comedy about a recently departed patriarch? Ghost Dad. Number three, Steven Spielberg wrote but did not direct what 1982 horror film? (laughs) 
Poltergeist. Number four, Tony Shalhoub starred in what remake of a 1960 horror film? Thirteen Ghosts. Number five, an over-tightened wire bisects the passengers of the MS Antonio Graza in what 2002 horror film? Ghost Ship. Number six, based on the Neil Gaiman book of the same name, what 2007 film featured ghosts and Robert De Niro as a gay pirate. Stardust. Number seven, the use of a spirit board goes horribly awry in what 2014 film? Ouija. Number eight. Tim Burton did co direct what 2005 stop motion musical fantasy? Corpse Bride. Number nine. Guillermo del Toro directed what 2015 gothic romance? with Mia Wasikowska and Jessica Chastain. Crimson Peak Number 10. What 2007 found footage horror had three different endings shot for it? Paranormal Activity The Nerdy Round Number 1. What 1963 film, directed by Robert Wise, was adapted from a Shirley Jackson novel? The Haunting It's based on Jackson's book, The Haunting of Hill House. Number two, Daniel Radcliffe starred in what 2012 horror film adapted from a Susan Hill novel of the same name? The Woman in Black. Number three, what 2014 supernatural horror film takes place entirely on computer screens? Unfriended. Number four. John Carpenter brought us what 1980 film about the vengeful ghosts of leprous mariners? The Fog. Number five. John Carpenter mixed sci-fi with the supernatural in what 2001 film? Ghosts of Mars Number 6. Kenneth Branagh directed and starred in what 1996 film where the title character is visited by the ghost of his father? Hamlet. Number seven. Daryl Hannah and Steve Gutenberg are haunted in an Irish castle in what 1988 comedy? (laughs) 
high spirits. Number 8. Leica produced what supernatural stop-motion movie in 2012? Paranorman. Number 9. Jeff Bridges and Ryan Reynolds are members of what supernatural law enforcement agency in a 2013 action comedy? R.I.P.D. Number 10. The ghost of a Hessian soldier terrorizes a New York village in what 1999 film? Sleepy Hollow. How'd you do for this week's ghost movie trivia? Ghost stories are one of those ancient traditions from sitting around the fire. Did I miss your favorite ghost movie? Let me know and maybe it'll materialize in a future episode. Speaking of future episodes, here's a clue for our final Halloween trivia episode this year. They're coming for your brains in what horror subgenre? I have a feeling more than a few of you already guessed this one was coming. See you back here next Wednesday. This was episode 247 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The theme music was provided by Jason Shaw of Audionautics.com. This podcast is written, produced, and hosted by me, Brian Rollins. Come find out what else I'm getting up to at thevoicesinmyhead.com. Thanks for listening. Tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now... It's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then let me know what you are podcasting all about. Hey, it's Ryan Reynolds, owner and user of Mint Mobile with a special holiday message. If you sign up now for three months, you get three months free on every one of our plans, even unlimited. Now, I realize this is more of a holiday offer than it is a holiday message. But if you read between the lines, you can see a message in there. It says we love you. Visit mintmobile.com slash switch for the offer. Limited time, new customer offer. Activate within 45 days. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. Unlimited customers using more than 40 gigabytes per month will experience lower speeds. Video streams at 480p. See mintmobile.com for details. The best kept secrets in 2041 America are the deadliest ones. A mysterious scarlet haired jazz singer, a rebel on a motorcycle, and a killer with a penchant for torture. Food is scarce, good jobs the rarity, and Big Brother is watching everyone. Will Jack and Tom's family be torn apart in the mayhem 
and how far will one brother go to save the other's life? In 2041, America is rife with ghettos and armed checkpoints, and poverty runs rampant. A bloody civil war is brewing, and everyone will be forced to take a side. Education is the only way out of a life where you're never sure where your next meal will come from or what you'll have to do to get it. Tom aced his assessment tests and scored an education contract, giving him a way out of poverty. Jack isn't so lucky. Tom must break every rule he's lived by and go head to head with a psychopath if he's to have any chance of saving his brother and just maybe keep America from reaching the Fracture Point. Fracture Point by Jeff Altabeth is book one in the Point Thrillers series. Audiobook available now on Audible and iTunes. <laughs>